Hi everyone, firstly uh, I'd like to welcome you to our new channel. I'm Declan, I am the director, co-founder and head designer here at Stand Tournament Giants Clothing. So let me introduce our company and give you a bit more of a background on myself and the business um, before we get on to what we want to use this channel for. So Stand Tournament Giants Clothing was founded by myself and two friends, uh, Dave and James, back in November 2012. We were all fresh out of university, we all got our degrees, um, but unfortunately there was a recession at the time, uh, which meant that we, we weren't able to get jobs in the sectors that we wanted to get the jobs in. This meant that we, we were all back working in retail. So on a night out, uh, myself, Dave and James, we were talking about how much uh, retail wasn't what we wanted to be carrying on into. We felt like we'd done retail at a young age and retail wasn't the, the, the thing that we wanted to be doing for the rest of our lives. And we kind of just sat there and went, well, well let's do something for ourselves. I personally had always wanted to start a clothing line. Um, I studied graphic design at college and university. We used to do a lot of screen printing at college um, and I always enjoyed the process of getting a print and uh, putting it onto, onto a garment or putting it onto a poster. And I always, I always wanted to be able to make my own designs and, and put, them, put them on t-shirts. Myself, Dave and James always had a mutual interest in fashion. Um, like I said, I'd always wanted to do it. So at the time, it seemed like the smartest decision to go into clothing, a clothing brand. So the next day, we, we text each other and went, do you know what, let's do this. Let's not just talk about it, let's get on and, and do it. None of us had any idea how to start a business. None of us had any idea on how to start a brand. So from there, we, we went and researched everything that we thought at the time we would need to know to, to get the business up and running. And then most importantly, we, we came up with the brand name. To be honest, that was always the hardest thing. Uh, you know, setting anything up and thinking of a name for your product or, or your brand. And to be honest, it came quite naturally to us. Um, it didn't take us too long to come up with the brand name. And I think that's, that's a stroke of luck sometimes. I don't always like telling the story of how the brand name came about, purely because I like people to perceive the name in, in their own way. So once we had a brand name, and we went and found uh, printers, uh, somewhere that would do some low minimums, because obviously we didn't want to be stuck with hundreds and hundreds of t-shirts that, that might not sell. We went and found uh, a website host uh, so that we could get a platform to sell to sell the t-shirts. I worked on on the initial designs for the brand. Um, obviously, that took a little while to to understand. Like now, now when I do the designs, it, it's I know kind of a pattern to follow or or what people like. At the time when you're starting a brand, when I was starting and I'm, I'm drawing down original sketches of what this brand's going to be, I had no idea who I was targeting it to and I found that really difficult at the time and, and then, then we took a gamble, we, we gave it a go um, and at the time we, we didn't tell anyone we were doing it purely because we didn't want loads of opinions on what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, we wanted to just go, you know, we're going to do this for ourselves, it's only us three who matter in this. So after we'd, we'd got everything in motion, we'd found a website, found a supplier and everything like that, we placed our first order and that was for 150 t-shirts split between four designs. On the 6th of November 2012 um, we, we launched our website. We relied on social media heavily at the start to get the interest into the brand um, and I think we had about four or five orders on the first night which, um, which was huge. We weren't sure whether anyone was going to buy them so to get that first, you know, first couple of orders out of the way um, was, was massive, uh, massive for us. From there we continued to reinvest um, any money that we made off of the t-shirts back into the business, um, expanded our product range, got beanies, hoodies in, anything that we, we thought people would like. Um, and then that's what we've continued to do for the last five years, is reinvest back into the business. It's now our, our full-time jobs. Um, we're sat in our own offices that we've had for a couple of years now, and, and we've been able to travel um, everywhere through, through selling a couple of t-shirts. So I kind of now just want to tell you a bit more about what we want to use this, uh, this channel for. We want to use this platform so that we can communicate with customers more. Uh, we get lots of emails and it always just seems very faceless when we're replying to them. And I thought this one-to-one -one with the camera and, and being able to see what we do here at Stan Thomas Giants was, was a bit more of a personal touch. So you'll be able to see what we get up to on a day-to-day -day basis um, here at Stag HQ. You'll be able to follow all of our photo shoots, uh, you'll be able to meet the models, um, meet the photographers, see the locations. Um, we've been very fortunate that we've been able to travel to, to certain areas that I certainly wouldn't be travelling to um, through the business. Um, and I kind of want uh, you know, somewhere to be able to film that and document that. You'll also be able to see what we get up to when we go to events and anything else that we do through the business. We are off to London to go and watch Blink play at the O2. <laughs> is that we show you certain processes that we go through. So things like manufacturing, um, you know, taking a design from a piece of paper, 
to a finished product. How do we do that? That's something five years ago I certainly didn't know how to do. And that's something we're looking to share. You'll also be able to see our initial ideas for collections, um, designs and, and, and products. And then have more of an input into what we produce. Um, we have to have samples sat here for months before they're even ran with. So the idea is that we'll, we'll be able to show you those samples and, and talk you through the idea behind them. And then maybe you guys have a say on, on whether we do produce them or not. And that's kind of what I, I see us, us doing here. So I'm planning on filming everything on a, a Monday to Friday. And then the idea is that that will be uploaded on a Sunday. So you'll have like a week's worth of footage um, uploaded once a week. If you'd like to know more about a specific part of the business or like to know about our design process and things like that, um, then just leave a comment below or I'll put all of my uh, social media links um, in the description and feel free to, to message me on, on one of those. If you could also leave a like and subscribe, that would be great uh, because I feel like an absolute idiot right now uh, filming this, um, sat in front of the camera for two hours without knowing that anyone's going to watch this. Um, so yeah, so if you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be great. And yeah, until then, um, I'll see you next week.